Whoa! Oh my goodness! Hey guys, I am back with another 3D printing video. As you guys can tell by the title, I have a sparking wyvern. Before we get to that though, I do want to give credit where it's due. This video would not be possible without the help and talent of Crazy Aries. So he did provide the files. And the cool thing is you guys can also print this on your own. So I will link you guys to his original video as well as where to download the files if you do have a 3D printer. But what this is called is Zyklon Wyvern. And clearly it is a sparking version of Wyvern, an evolution if you will. And what we're gonna do is showcase it in this video as well as do some test battles and talk a little bit more about the gimmicks. So I wanna start off with just the introduction to Wyvern. Wyvern is owned by Wakia, who we got to know really well in the first two seasons of Beyblade Burst. Unfortunately, like many other characters, he's one of those forgotten characters who kinda of got pushed aside. But spoilers, um, he may be making an appearance because he has returned in the manga. So. Fingers crossed. Anyway, as far as we know, his current Beyblades or his past Beyblades that are canon are um, the original Wyvern. So this is the single layer armed massive. And then he did receive a dual layer evolution with Wild Wyvern vertical orbit. And then his final evolution as of this video is Tornado Wyvern. Um, four glaive, I think it's four, yeah, four glaive atomic. So overall, it was a very good series of defense types. All of them came with really good parts and come on, it's a wyvern. It's essentially a dragon beast. So it was really cool that it was around. We don't really have a lot of defense types. So um, thanks to Crazy Ares, he made a sparking wyvern, which I spent quite a bit of time working on. Um, for one, check out the gimmick. Yeah, see that? That is buttery smooth. But let's go ahead and take it apart and just get a closer look. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start off just with the chip core. I ended up using the kind of turquoise one from Fafnir because I couldn't really find a good shade. I was thinking more of a neon green maybe or just a darker green, but this is the best I could come up with. I think it's fairly close to the Wyvern color scheme of green and purple. And then next up is a 3D printed piece. This is the sparking chip made by Crazy Ares and it's Wyvern. As you guys can see, it features two Wyvern heads and it's super detailed. It very much resembles the typical Wyvern um, pattern of having two heads. So really, really nice. And then what I did is I printed this in resin actually. So resin has its benefits. For one, it comes out super high quality. This can almost pass as a legit piece just because of how high quality it is. And then I actually spent some time painting it. So this is a very complicated paint job I did. I used multiple different coats of blue, metallic blue, and then purple, all just mixed in and it ended up creating this really nice mix, almost like a dark metallic blue with a little bit of purple mixed in, and then the heads are just a lighter kind of blue. So it is more blue than purple, but I liked how it turned out. Um, unfortunately, there's just no metallic purple paints, but final result was beautiful. Now, this is of course the main piece, and this is the Zyklon base, or the Zyklon ring. Um, so, of course, the gimmick here is that it's free spinning. And no, unlike someone else who printed this and made a showcase, this actually free spins because I printed it right and then I lubricated it um, so that it actually spins freely. So you guys can actually see how the gimmick works. There's literally no resistance in this. So that's basically how it should work, at least. And I printed this out of PLA plus instead of resin. PLA plus is way stronger and this thing will not break, that's for sure. The base or rather the bottom is purple, just a basic solid purple. And then the top part, um, which kind of locks in place the center is also a mix of metallic blue, blue and purple. So I got a really nice finish. 
overall very nice. The bottom does have just a rough texture. That's just because of how printing works. The overhangs are always going to come out this way, unfortunately. But hey, we're looking at the top and not the bottom. Um, also, you can see some printing lines on top. It's just part of the texture, really, at this point. I could have sanded them down, but it would have been more work. So I'm overall very happy with this and how it turned out. And the fact is, it does work as intended. Now, here's an extra plus. I did receive these files from Crazy Aries directly, and I didn't even know this, but he told me that um, the reason I'm using 2B here is because he actually made this version compatible with 2B. So what I mean by that is with 2B, there's two modes. There's a stationary mode. So if these little tabs get pushed in, this outer ring becomes stationary and the chassis is stuck in attack mode. However, if these tabs are let free, then the ring becomes free spinning. And therefore you have the defense or stamina mode. So the cool thing is, is that this ring does allow for the chassis to move freely. And that's why I picked it because you might be wondering, well, why 2B? It's not even a defense chassis. Well, really it kind of is. It's very much round, and the fact that it's free spinning, it fits into the Wyvern theme. Now, could I have painted this so that it matched the color scheme better? I would have, but I kind of ran out of paint, and it is super hard to paint these chassis. I would have to drill through it, basically destroying it in the process, painting the plastic, and then putting it back together. So. It's really hard to do that with these. So I kind of kept it with the golden, even though it looks kind of awkward, it is what it is. Next up is Atomic. Why Atomic? Well, Atomic was on Tornado Wyvern. It's a very solid driver. I mean, we all know what it is now. Um, and I wanted to go with Orbit Metal, but it turns out that Orbit Metal just has a very awkward spring. For some reason, if you use Orbit Metal on this combo, it will literally burst by itself. I don't know what it is exactly. Orbit Metal is just a very weird driver. So I'm sticking with Atomic. It gives good stamina, balance, and of course, defense. So that is all good. Now, the next thing I want to do is just a weight comparison with some legitimate sparking Beyblades. So I have these three here. And I think what I'm going to weigh is the combo separately and then all put together. All right, I want to start off with the chip since this is 3D printed. And we're going to go ahead and do a comparison with the Achilles chip because it's my latest release. I'm very happy with it. So let's compare the two. Okay. So with Achilles, we're looking at 2.42 grams. That's pretty typical for a chip. And then the Wyvern chip. 2.51. So um, I think the paint may make it a little bit heavier, but Crazy Aries did a really good job at keeping the weights consistent to a real Beyblade. Now the most important part though is the ring, Zyklon. And since is, this is made out of two different pieces, or actually, three different pieces, um, it may weigh a little bit heavier than a typical ring. So let's go ahead and weigh infinite with the infinite sword attached. 10.86 and then without 5.48. Wow, the infinite sword gives a lot of weight. I did not realize that. So, okay, here is Zyklon. 11.42, wow. That is pretty heavy. Again, it may also be because of the paint that adds a little bit more weight. Um, but now let's go ahead and put this bad boy together and get a full weight. So it literally comes together like any other um, sparking Beyblade. Let's check that out, putting Atomic. The clicks are Pretty okay. I mean, Atomic doesn't have a good spring anyway, but it does click. So 
right, here we go. Cyclone Wyvern Atomic 2B. 68.69, comparing that with Hyperion. 61.77 for Hyperion. And then Ragnarok, 65.16. So it's heavier, but granted it does have 2B and 2B I think might be the heaviest chassis. So that is definitely helping it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead, take one final look at this beauty. And wow, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I, I can't help but free spin both of these rings because the chassis is also free spinning and the driver. So uh, a lot of free spinning parts and I'm gonna go ahead and get my stadium ready for you guys and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, yeah, I figured I'd start off with a few test launches just to kind of see how it performs. So check that out. It does seem a little bit unbalanced at first. I think that might be due to the gimmick on the layer, but it does calm down right after. So try that one more time. So yeah, it is pretty aggressive at first. I would say that's more because of Atomic and just how the driver is, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started with the test battles. All right, we got Slash going in hard. I tried to do a rush launch or a sliding shoot, but it clearly did not work. Oh, a burst on Valkyrie. All right, some strong hits. And it looks like Valkyrie is bouncing and it got a burst, no way. All right, we got Big Bang Apocalypse hitting hard. Jeez, that was a strong hit. Thankfully, Wyvern did survive the impact. So now it looks like it's gonna come down to stamina. And wow, it knocked off the armor on Apocalypse. Strong hits all around. So I'm sure you guys can tell but Wyvern's gimmick is working very clearly. Nice, another outspin. So I would say <laughs> it's a little tricky to launch, that's for sure. The gimmick very much works, but at the same time, it's kind of hard for the launcher to grip on it. All right, can judgment do its magic? Oh, yeah, it did get a burst on it. Finally, a solid launch for both Beyblades, and we got a counterattack. Labyrinth putting in that work. All right, who's gonna take this? So Dragon decided to just go around the stadium instead, instead of hitting Wyvern for some odd reason. What is gonna happen now? Jeez, this is the first time I've seen Ignition Dash act like this. It's so weird. 
It is supercharged. Okay, seems to have turned off and it looks like Wyvern beat it. Ooh, the uh, Chosey Spriggan tried really hard, but it could not take it. Wow, it knocked out Wyvern. Jeez, it did burst Wyvern. Okay, so first priority. All right, we got a Dragon going in strong and it bursted Wyvern. Wow. All right, I think Wyvern might have a good chance at this round, just because Dragon did circle around and lose a lot of its stamina. But what is it gonna come down to? Ooh, okay. We did get that win. All right, finally a really solid battle. No way. It basically knocked out Achilles. All right, solid hits. I think Wyvern's got this. It's got that kind of sneaky knockout. Check out those attacks. And it looks like D Bolos does not stand a chance. Dragon going insane in the stadium. Can Wyvern take this? Oh, it's gonna be really close, but I think it did. And Hyperion is going insane in the stadium. I don't know who's gonna take this because it does look like Wyvern is losing steam really quick. Wow, okay. Ooh. Look at Hyperion go. Oh, that, that was insane. I hope the camera caught that really well. Oh no, <laughs> Wyvern lost. And that counter break with Spriggan. Poor Wyvern is kind of losing steam again. No, Valkyrie. Valkyrie's too good. All right, can I launch this? What happened? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. That, that was insane. Oh, 
poor Achilles. Oh, come on, I gotta launch this. There we go. A little bit late, but oh, look at that round. That was sick. Really good counterattack. All right, shield, infinite shield is working its best, and wow, it bursted Wyvern. <laughs> Jeez, that was a solid knockout by Wyvern. All right, you just saw the battles, and I have to say, like, my impressions are that it performs just like how I expected, and I say this because it doesn't have the most stamina, but it kind of fits the Wyvern aesthetic, for sure. And the gimmicks, and then its performance is solid. It has good defense, but not overkill stamina. I think that's how a defense type should be anyway. Um, if it's strictly defense, you're aiming for that and not so much stamina. So, Curious Aries did a wonderful job, and thank you again. But that is it for this video. Stay tuned for much more 3D printing content on the way. I know you guys love that. I love it too. But um, I'm finally back. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.